welcome, welcome to, to my, my take, take on, on it with it your angelic, angelic karma. karma. If you are interested in sharing your story in a future broadcast, send an email to yourangelicstories at gmail.com. Here she is, folks, your host, the one, the only, the also beautiful, your angelic karma. Hi, everyone, and welcome back. It is Thursday, and we are live once again. Those of you that want to come in and join in with me on the chat, you're most definitely welcome to do so. We're going to talk about the astrology a little bit. Very important. On Saturday, we have Saturn stationing headed back into the sign of Pisces after a long period of time. And a lot of you may be breathing a sigh of relief. Sometimes it's, it's better, especially when we talk about extra, um, energetic bodies such as Saturn. It's best when they're retrograde for some people. And then some people, they like it better when there is, when it's, um, direct. The, the, the retrograde, it could be, it's for some people, the retrogrades are a sigh of relief. Sometimes when it's direct, it's a, it's a sigh of relief. It depends on what you have going on in your chart. Uh, there, there's a lot um, corresponding with the portal you all are coming out of and then what you'll be headed into when Saturn goes um, direct here on the 4th, which is in a couple of days. You all could already be feeling the energy. Now, I want to talk about a question that I received through email. Somebody asked me about a lot of questions about Africa and things like that. Um, somebody asked me if I had ever thought about going to Africa, visiting Africa. No, it's never crossed my mind. Even though I know a lot of people, they, they talk about wanting to go to Africa, wanting and visiting Africa because they'll feel some type of, I guess, soul connection with it. I've never thought about going there. I, uh, if for a, uh, if, if, if I'm going to do something romantic, I would go to Santorini. I talk about that all the time. If, if I ever, whenever I've even come across people that I'm interested in romantic, I bring that up just to put that idea in their head. That's what I would go for a romantic getaway. Now, if we talk about somewhere where, it, there's an emotional pull, an emotional tug. I talked on the podcast some years ago about this, and you all should remember. If I were to go some, and it brings me, it, it kind of, I get kind of emotional thinking about it. Now, it just even imagining being able to go there. I would go to the Vatican Museum in Rome, Italy. To see the statues of the Roman gods. Thinking about Saturn up there posing, it just does something to me because we most definitely have a love hate relationship with me, my moon in Capricorn and my north node in Capricorn and me having seven placements of the energy in my chart astrologically. So that's where I would go if I was going to go, um, you know, a lot of people talk about going on pilgrimages and things like a pilgrimage. I wouldn't go on a pilgrimage either, but I would go to the Vatican Museum to see the statues of Saturn, most specifically Jupiter and the rest like that. That's what I would go. That's what the pool for, for, um, for me is. Now, if I was going, and I stated where I would go Santorini, if I was going somewhere romantic, a romantic getaway, I know a lot of people like going on cruises and things like that. I get seasick whenever I, I, I talk, we're not even supposed to be talking about this. I talk some, every time I would go visit, visit Georgia, I would talk about getting a condo on Tybee Island. Jennifer Lopez had a condo out there. I talked about this on a podcast some years ago. I also, I don't know if she still has it. Is I would always talk about getting a condo out on the um, beach, on the island like that. But, but I get seasick, so I'm not into really cruises and, and being surrounded by water. I would probably be seasick. I'm claustrophobic, so I wouldn't like being in a small cabin. So I'm really not into cruises unless we're talking about a maybe a day cruise on a yacht. Um, <laughs> maybe a, a day cruise 
uh, uh, on a yacht or something, something nice, but like for the day where I'm not spending night. So I'm not really into cruise or anything. You're a jealous car. It's not into cruise or anything like that. So, but if I was traveling at other places that I would go, obviously in Italy, where the Vatican City, Italy, it pulls towards me a lot, especially with clothing and the, um, the, the fashion, I would go there for fashion. But if we're talking about a soul pull towards something where my soul feels connected, it would be Vatican City with the, the museum specifically, like that. But it is Santorini with the um, romance and not have to continue to repeat myself. And then with um, just, just um, travel as it relates to fashion, as I stated, Italy with the fashion, looking at the way that the, the, the way of dressing and France for the way that they dress. And you know what I like about those places, Italy and France, as it relates to fashion is because in, in those parts of Europe, the fashion and, and, and well, looking good is important. And it's not how it is in the United States where people are like, well, we're too busy to look good and we're too busy to focus on that stuff. And it, when, it, and when it really doesn't even take that much energy or effort. And because it's a way of life for them like that, and it was a way of life for me, okay, growing up only to now and I'm 50, and so it comes the second nature, okay, I like the way that they, how they are well to look together, how they'll, they, even the men like that, they'll be well put together, the older men, the older women, the younger people, very um, fashion focused, uh, even though their, their style is trendy and mine is a little bit more, um, well, you all have never seen me dressed to go out. So mine is a little bit more, well, hell, it's like maybe conservative, dressy, or maybe a little more on a preppy side like that. So, and, and informal if it's really dressy. So it's like that. And they'll, they'll, theirs is a little bit more trendy, even though some of them, they'll have the same style that I have. So those will be the places that I go um, for overall ambience. Um, it'll be in the cu cuisine also cuisine like that. It would be Italy and France. Cause I will be going for the fashion and just being around the people in general in their, their, um, aesthetic, their fashion consciousness that is subconscious and a way of life, second nature for them. Um, and then that's first and then romantic, romantic getaway. And I'm a creature of habit. I would repeatedly go to these places. I would not just change up and want to go to a multitude of places in the world and traveling all over these different places and land on all these different beaches. I go there more for the culture and, and that fashion would be the culture of Italy and France. Now, it would be the, the, the fashion culture, not that high fashion where you're sitting down watching the runway, but the, the local fashion like that. Now, so, um, and then I would go, so, cause I'll go for the culture aspect of it. I don't want to go in the only people that I see that are foreign is the waiter. So I wouldn't be into that. Then I would go to Santorini. So uh, for private island, most definitely, but that would be romantic. And the only person that I want to, will want to see dead is my man and then the waiter. Cause you know, you're just going for the ambience of the, the, um, the, you're going for the visual like that and the romantic appeal that it gives. So that would be it. And then with Vatican City, that would be the soul pull. I've also uh, uh, thought about going to, um, what pulls me is Brazil and the culture of the culture of Brazil, not really the carnivals that they have there though. I like the, I like the, culture aspect but when you when you go places and you're going for carnival or when it's going to be a high energy gathering of a lot of people it kind of you're kind of distracted like that so i wouldn't go for the carnivals that'd be too much movement it'd be a, too much of a distraction i would like to I, if i went to brazil it'd be for other things but the culture aspect of it it would be very interesting um also, maybe somewhere also like Belize, uh, I would go to Belize, but for the culture aspect of it, 
also um those types of things is where i would go i don't know why i've never had the real pull towards africa maybe because that's what the first thing that other people say well they want to go you could you could easily go to africa just like you could easily go to any other place we, we really don't have to want to go we just get a plane ticket and head out you know so but I never really thought about Africa because with Africa, it, 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 you have to really sit down and think about it because that's a continent. You have to really figure out where, what country you want to go to in Africa, you know, and then you have to look at things like, um, it, it, I, I, it, it probably would be the tourist attraction in Africa regarding where you're going in Africa and the whys and what you're going to see. But for, I've never really been pulled to go like that. I've never really been pulled to go, but I know a lot of people state that they've, they've gone and things. Well, they, not that they've gone, but they, they, I've never met anyone either that has gone to Africa, but I, I hear people Well, I read what people on the internet talk about, um, wanting to go or why one should want to go. I'm one that have never thought about going like that. So it is those types of things. So no, if, if I ever went to Africa, or thought about going to Africa, it would probably be when I think about Africa, I think of Africa, I think about not vacation. I don't, that's it. I don't really think about vacation. I think about, um, work or something. I would go maybe like missionaries, <laughs> not really, but, but it, it would make my mind go to like maybe work or doing, going over there to see something. I would feel that something would need to be done because I'm not pulled towards it. So it, it would remind me of maybe some type of maybe work or, um, but, but mission or not mission, but well, similar to a mission, but I wouldn't, I, I would, I, when I, I don't think about like pleasure or anything like that, but I'm sure there are a lot of places, Africa is so big, it is, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of places uh, that are very beautiful that could be um, pleasurable or explored or things like that for inspiration and those types of things. But I have never really given it much thought or been put towards it. No. Soul, ur soul urge will be the Vatican museum like that and the statues and those types of things. I, I, I get, I, I would like, it brings me fulfillment to think of myself walking amongst uh, many large statues like that i don't know what that's about but that would bring me a lot of fulfillment okay everyone until next time thanks for listening bye